Hey boys and girls, I wanted to add a video to your math instructions because I know today is confusing since it's a snow day and we weren't expecting this necessarily. So we have a mixture of people who have different things they can use for math today. Most of you have a bag of collection cards that you took home. If you are someone who has a bag of collection cards, you are able to play a game today for your math assignment. Some of you have collection cards and a recording sheet, but as long as you have collection cards, you are able to play this game for math today and you can use your recording sheet or you can use a piece of paper. So, what you can do to play, what I think is the most fun way to play, especially if you have no one to play against, is to take your collection cards, mix them all up, and turn them upside down where you can't see them. Then you're going to play a matching game. And you're going to look to see if you can find two cards in the same category. So if I flip over two cards, I want them to both be from the animal category or from the trading cards category. When I find a pair, I'm going to write down those two numbers. Remember, the numbers are on the card. It's how many are in the collection. It's not the number in the top corner. So I'm going to write down those two numbers, but I'm going to write it as an addition equation. From there, you can choose to either only add the hundreds or you can add up the both numbers completely and get your total for a practice for addition. The game is meant to play where you're only adding the hundreds and you're looking to see what your score is by only looking at the hundreds, but some of you can handle adding the whole, all of the numbers. So then that's how you're practicing today is you're adding, looking for pairs. So if you're gonna do addition equations, Doing about 10 equations would be enough. And then you could practice just finding matches for fun if you wanted to. The other way that you can play the game is to play it like Go Fish. So if you had somebody to play with, you would draw five cards and they draw five cards and then you are trying to find a pair that way. Either way, you're trying to find a pair and you're writing down your equations. So today you can take a picture of the equations that you write down and you're either adding only the hundreds and writing that down or you're adding all the numbers together and writing down the total. If you have no collection cards at all, you can do the Google slides. But if you have collection cards, then you can use those to play the math game today. 